That was us with King Robert the Bruce. Hey, let's go and play his golf course. Robert Bruce course at Trump Turner Bray, your initial thoughts? Loved it. Um, I've played the entire 10-15 times. Um, I've played in all weathers, played in winter, played a lot in the summer, had some great times down here um, and I'm the first to admit that when I heard that the Trump organisation were going to use the, the B word for uh, bulldozing. Uh, slightly concerning. Um, and then when I heard they moved my favourite hole, um, I wouldn't say I was worried, but I don't like it when um, course designers make drastic big changes. I'm a bit more of a traditionist, I like things to just kind of stay the way they are, but they did say they were going to do wholesale changes and I have to give the Trump organisation credit where it's due. When they go in to do something, they go big. There's no half measures. So first impressions are that they have put all into it. It would have been easy to do the hotel, to do the Elsa, to do the clubhouse and just touch up a wee bit and walk away and save some money. They haven't done that. I totally agree. I've only probably played the entire course about half as many times yeah. as you have. Um, again, I always liked it, but it always for me paled in comparison to the Elsa. There was a noticeable difference um, in layout, quality of the holes and just, I think, the quality of, of the experience. Um, with the changes that they've made and turning the entire into the King Robert the Bruce course, improving the holes and the quality of the experience around the best part of the property, out by the sea, I think they've brought the two courses a lot more closely together. The first four or five holes, there's no drastic changes but noticeable changes that immediately makes you know they've put an effort in here. New bunkers, there's new tees, uh, the roll-offs and the greens better, some of the fairways like a new turf, um, you found out to your benefit taking away the gorse. Uh, <laughs> on number five? And, yeah, and leaving in the waste area. I think that is a really clever move on Mark Kiefer's part because it brings in other holding golf course we did see, so you feel a wee bit more involved in the golf course at that point, and you can sort of see what's coming. Yeah, for number five, I've got to be honest, I, I don't like to see gorse on the links course. My, my opinions have changed on it over the years. The restoration plan, if you like, that they've implemented here, I think, has elevated it so much higher than it was before. The holes maybe aren't framed as well as they were previously because the gorse is gone, but I think the quality of the holes has just shot up dramatically. We're talking the quality, we need to get to the big talking point, the changes <laughs> that are quite significant. You said a minute ago about the, the best part of the golf course. In my opinion, the best part of the golf course had not the poorest holes, but they weren't they weren't making use of what they've done. And I said earlier I thought Mark Ebert was a Mark Man when he took away the eighth and he took away the green down by the water because that was great fun playing down there. It was a blind <coughs> hole. Yeah, no, everyone's a big fan of blind holes, but I think it's unbelievable what they've done on that, that part of the golf course. Um, eight is phenomenal, nine is phenomenal, ten is phenomenal. You can't say that a year ago about yeah. those holes. They've taken away what I thought was a fantastic hole and replaced it with three even better holes. <laughs> told me a year ago that the 8th green was going to become a sandy waste area. I mean, I, I don't even know how it would have felt about that, but you, you can't argue with the quality of the holes. You step onto that new 8th, and to be honest, I wasn't thinking about the old 8th. It's, it's gone now, and then, as soon as you hit that first shot, bringing the lighthouse more into play is a genius move. If you're hitting shots towards the lighthouse, towards the hills of day, that's what Turner is known for. It feels now that you are <clears throat> more aware of the sea views. Well, last time you were sort of playing the golf course, now you're sort of looking at the, the views and taking in the coastal area, which I, I don't think you did before, but now because you're a bit, it's a bit more dramatic. Um, ninth, 
felt was phenomenal. Yeah. Everyone said today that we were playing it uh, not in the prevailing wind, so we had it tough. Credit where credit's due, Martin put his done a magnificent job. And I know everyone will talk about that part of the golf course, but in a general sense, every tee you walk onto, it looks different. Yeah. What the outlook on the fairways looked different. There were only one or two holes towards the end where they haven't made much of a change, but to be honest, I don't think they needed to. Everyone says it was a poor relation to the ILSA. It was always going to be the poor relation to the ILSA, but now I genuinely think even though you're paying more money to play the golf course, you're still getting great bang for your buck. I actually think King Robert the Bruce score stands on its own two feet in a way that the entire never did. Yeah. Um, and that's yeah, going to be interesting going forward in terms of tournament. In your opinion, do you think King Robert the Bruce standing on its own two feet like it does, could it host a tournament in its own right? Yeah, of course it could, but I still think, I'm always uh, sceptical about people who design a golf course and then say, we need to have a tournament on it. What it needs is people playing it. Yeah. And I think, it being more exciting now, more interesting, more fun to play, it was already a good golf course and it was already a busy golf course, so it should be busier. That to me is the route to success. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to sum up the King Robert Bruce course in just one word, I know that's hard for you, summing things up in one word doesn't come naturally, but if you were to pick one word, what's it going to be? Magnificent.